Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Melanie. And we are your, and we are your worn out health mavens. <laughs> we're, we're pretty tired. We're training to walk the Whiskey Row Half Marathon. Yep. And uh, it's kicking our butt a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. I thought we're going to be walking, but then people are like, you picked the hardest marathon to walk for your first marathon, well, half marathon. But still, 13.1 miles is what it's the distance is supposed yeah. to be. And we neither one of us have gone that far yet. No, but yesterday I did 11 miles, and I never realized that 11 miles could kick my butt so much. Yeah. But I was wiped out afterwards. My feet hurt really, really bad. I got a cramp in my calf. Yep. How was your walk today? I know you did a walk. Today was good. I'm a little bit behind Melanie in our training. Um, time constraints, you know, change things from one to the other. So uh, she did 11 miles. Today I did six, so I'm a little behind, but that's okay. It's all right. I'll get there. Everybody in their own time, right? Um, and Today was good. My goal today was to just do the six miles. I was doing the last three really hard ones up Copper Basin. That's like the hardest part of the route. And then coming back down. And so my goal today was not speed and any of, you know, I wasn't worried about any of that. I just wanted to do it. And I did. And um, got to the top and was pretty dang proud of myself because I had every excuse all the way up. Yeah, like why? The mind oh, games. Yeah. I could turn around right now and by myself, nobody would know. And oh, it's only a half mile left. You could turn around now. It's okay. But no, I said, "Bitch, shut up!" Ah! And keep walking. And I did. And yeah. coming back down, I have to say, coming down is so much easier. Love down. Yeah, down is, down is good. And I got a second wind, and I was like, "That wasn't so bad." Yeah. <laughs> I swear, when Greg and I were walking 11 miles yesterday, I thought, I, now we'd walked nine miles a few weeks earlier and felt a whole lot better, but we've done a lot more training in between. Uh, different muscles are building up in our legs and my butt uh, and doing some cross training to get some upper body strength to help pump up those hills. And I swear, when we got back home, and I was, we had, we're using a, a thing on our cell phones to track um, how many miles we're walking and the, our different splits and stuff. Mm -hmm. And when it said, you know, that we were almost home, <laughs> all I kept thinking was, I am so glad because I cannot imagine walking another two miles right now right. from where we were yesterday. And I, I was ready to be done. And I was soaking my feet. Uh, in Epsom salt yesterday, <laughs> massaging my feet and really wishing that that Richard was doing it for me from the Natural Healing Garden. Yeah, so let's talk about Natural Healing Garden. We're so thankful because they are our official sponsors of this marathon and they are really taking care of our bodies through this whole process and without them we would be a mushy puddle on the floor. So come along with us. Hey, if you if you are on a journey to walk the Whiskey Row Marathon, fantastic. We hope to see you out there also. And it, for those of you who would like to do something like this, like I said, if we can do it, you can do it too. And it's for a great cause. YMCA. YMCA, that's right. Right here in our own Prescott, Arizona. So it's and a great you, benefit. And if you're not at that point in your journey yet, but you want to come out along the route and wave hi as we go yeah. by. We'd love to see you. Chris and Melanie, Yay! keep going. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Come over to our website. Send us an email. Leave us a comment. You know, let us know where you're at. Let us know what you're doing. We have a, a series of three more videos to um, kind of help you tr track how our progress is before the marathon, which is on Saturday, May 3rd. Third, <laughs> that puts it in perspective. Yeah. Today is it, we're the end of March right now, yeah. so we have just over a month to go in our training to make sure that we're ready to to finish that 13.1 miles and finish it strong. So. That's right. 
Okay. We can do Come it. Come along. Bye. Bye. If you want to keep track of our progress and share it with your friends, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. And check out the free classes offered by the members of Health Hub Network.